Virginia Apgar devised the Apgar score in 1952 as a simple and replicable method to quickly and summarily assess the health of newborn children immediately after birth. Apgar was an anesthesiologist who developed the score in order to ascertain the effects of obstetric anesthesia on babies. The Apgar scale is determined by evaluating the newborn baby on five simple criteria on a scale from 0 to 2, then summing up the five values thus obtained. The resulting APGA score ranges from 0 to 10. The five criteria are summarized using words chosen to form a backronym. From each column in the table below, the infant is given a score of 0, 1 or 2. The scores are added up and the total sum is their APGA score. Criteria The five criteria of the APGA score Interpretation of scores The test is generally done at 1 and 5 minutes after birth and may be repeated later if the score is and remains low. Scores 7 and above are generally normal, 4 to 6 fairly low, and 3 and below are generally regarded as critically low. A low score on the one-minute test may show that the neonate requires medical attention but is not necessarily an indication that there will be long-term problems, particularly if there is an improvement by the stage of the five-minute test. If the APGA score remains below 3 at later times such as 10, 15, or 30 minutes, there is a risk that the child will suffer longer-term neurological damage. There is also a small but significant increase of the risk of cerebral palsy. However, the purpose of the APGA test is to determine quickly whether a newborn needs immediate medical care. It was not designed to make long-term predictions on a child's health. A score of 10 is uncommon due to the prevalence of transient cyanosis and is not substantially different from a score of 9. Transient cyanosis is common, particularly in babies born at high altitude. A study comparing babies born in Peru near sea level with babies born at very high altitude found a significant difference in the first but not the second APGA score. Oxygen saturation also was lower at high altitude. Backronym, some 10 years after the initial publication, a backronym for APGAR was coined in the United States as a mnemonic learning aid, appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respiration. In German, the words atmung, pulse, gruntiness, ocean, reflex were used. In Spanish, apariencia, pulso, gesticulasa cubed en, actividad, respiracia cubed en. In Portuguese, aparencia, pulso, Gesticula a picavolt pound o, actividade, respire a picavolt pound o. And, in French, apparence, pools, grimace, activita copyright, respiration. Another case where APGA's name is eponymous for a backronym is American Pediatric Gross Assessment Record. Another mnemonic devised for the test is to use the phrase a euro oe how ready is this child a euro, which summarizes the test criteria as heart rate respiratory effort, irritability, tone, and color. See also, Ballard Maturational Assessment, Bishop Score, Glasgow Coma Scale, Pediatric Glasgow Coma Scale, References. Further reading, APGA, Virginia. The Newborn Scoring System, Reflections and Advice. Pediatric Clinics of North America 13, 645 a Euro 650 a.